It's our last day of the series where we give daytime viewers the hair of their favorite celebrities. The stylists at J. Joseph Salon and Roy Nacor transformed Kia Davis into the beautiful Ava Mendez. It's our final day of Celebra Style Week and we're gonna go out with a bang. Eva Mendez has had a phenomenal year. She just had a baby and she made jaws drop on the red carpet. Kia Davis is a mother of two and she's a newlywed. She wants to have Eva's sophisticated and beautiful style. Let's talk to Kia. My typical hairstyle is sort of more on this side, curled just a little bit um, since I've recently cut it. It used to be ponytail. I like Eva Mendez's hairstyle because it's bright, it's fun, it's you know something nice for the summertime and especially in Florida. And also I chose her because a lot of times when my siblings have done like face match with celebrities, that's typically who pops up for me. So I thought I could see hers and kind of see what it would look like on me. I think my husband's gonna like it because I've been a little bit of blonde here and there, so it's not too much of a shock. Um, my kids are more the ones that I think are gonna have a very big opinion on it. I think they'll like it, but they'll have more of an opinion on it. <laughs> my ideal style is something that's not too stiff, you know, it's nice and flowing, but maybe a little in my face, but something that's, you know, looks like it was a lot of work, but it wasn't. Eva Mendes has this cute and sassy haircut. Kia wants to be able to create the same and make it easier for her. The only thing is Kia has uh, very thick, curly, curly hair. To be able to achieve that and give her that haircut, what we're gonna do is have to dry her hair first and cut it dry. So we're gonna do it a little bit backwards. Uh, we're gonna work a lot on the front area and the side fringe to be able to give her that same look. To be able to achieve Eva's color on Kia, it's a bit of a process. It's uh, something that you have to really pay very attention to because you're gonna be using so much highlighting and so many different processes. So it can be very damaging to the hair. We're gonna do a full highlight. We're gonna do lots of treatments. Uh, we're going to choose the right glazes to be able to achieve uh, what Eva has. We're going to get it as close as possible to that look in one visit. As far as the cut goes, we're going to cut it dry, bring it up about an inch on the length, and we're really going to work mostly on the front area. We're going to frame her face a little bit more, give her a little side fringe, teach her how to blow dry it herself. It has been all about the color with Kia. Two different highlights, a couple of glazes. I cannot wait to show you guys her new style. Wow, talk about a makeover. This is one of the best makeovers we've ever done. It looks so beautiful. Different toned highlights, definitely a little warmer, haircut a little shorter, uh, compared to uh, the haircut was longer and the color was kind of like uh, no tone to it and it was a little more ashy, so it has been a challenge to create this. But uh, Kia, tell me a little bit about the reaction that you've been getting. And when I remember when you sat down with Jeremy, it was like, how are we going to be able to achieve this? So it was kind of a challenge. Tell me a little bit more. It's great. Everybody loves it. They love the color, the look. It's, it's awesome. It ha has it been, uh, I noticed Jeremy was doing a lot of texturizing and we talked a little bit in the back room. Uh, tell me, has that helped you? A lot. Yeah, Jeremy noticed that I have really thick curly hair. It's normally really fluffy. So what he did, it makes it a lot easier for me. Picked up a few techniques from you guys. So I brought a round brush and now when I blow dry it, it looks a lot straighter and smoother without me even having to run the flat iron through it. That's so awesome. And that's always like the point. We want to be able to kind of help you recreate that look at home and make it look beautiful yourself. I know it was a uh, big challenge with the color uh, because we're going to such a lighter color, so we had to go through many different steps. So uh, it took a little longer, but um, we definitely uh, got it right. So thank you so much. You look absolutely beautiful. Your makeup looks even more fantastic. So tell me a little bit about the makeup, Jennifer. She looks amazing. You really, really look very Eva Mendes today. Mm -hmm. So you. you look beautiful. We really focused on getting her skin glowing, bronzy. Eva Mendez is the queen of bronzy um, sun skin that looks really very healthy and also glowing cheeks, pre lips, a little bit more of a defined eye, 
but her skin is just beautiful and glowing. I use a particular product that helps make your skin very smooth. It's called Oxygen Plasma Mask, and it made everything really smooth before we used the Camera Ready makeup. You look gorgeous. How does your skin feel? How do you feel about this? It feels great. I love it. It's lightweight. I don't feel like I have a lot on. I don't normally wear a lot of makeup, so it feels great. Something I could wear on a day to day. Excellent, excellent. I'm so glad you love it. You look amazing. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Eva Mendez. I mean, Kia. <laughs> it has been a phenomenal Celebra Style Week. Thank you so much for being with us uh, with amazing makeovers. Back to you, Cindy. Kia, you look fantastic. So happy for you. Roy, you worked your magic again. Jennifer, great job. You just look beautiful. Eva Mendez has nothing on you. Jerry, over to you.